Hi, my loves. Welcome back to the Stars Cartel channel. If you don't know, I'm Star. The message I heard is, that's your plan? <laughs> it was legit just like that. Like, that's your plan? Oh, that's what you gonna do? Okay. All right. Okay. The scripture comes from 3rd Enoch 44 and 10. Immediately, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob wept. Then the Holy One, blessed is he, said to them, Abraham, my beloved, Isaac, my chosen one, Jacob, my firstborn. How can I now deliver them from among the nations of the world? And immediately, Michael, the prince of Israel, Israel cried and wept with a loud voice and said, Why do you stand far off, O Lord? So here's the message. For whoever this is for, you have a plan, okay? And God has a plan. And I just feel like for whoever this is for, your plan's about to be shooketh. Your plan's about to be shaken. You about to be taken aback because the plan that God have is going to over, uh, it's going to trump your plan. Long story short, it's going to over, it's going to overbear your plan. It's going to run over your plans. Your plan is going to be pushed aside with what God said he wants to be happening. And that's the message. You know what I'm saying? You can be as determined as you want to be. And you can have all these goals. And you can say you're going to do this. And then you're going to do that. And then you're going to do this. And then you're going to do all these things. God said his plan is what is going to stand. Your plan is going to fail. And that's the end of it. And it's not a situation where what God has for you is so bad compared to your plan. But God said his plan is what's going to happen. Your plan, his plan, okay, and that's the message. Like, that's literally the message, you know. And for whoever this is for, you may even feel as though God is standing off from you. Like, um, you want to know what the plans are. God is not telling you yet. And he's not telling you yet for a reason. Because for somebody, you know what I'm saying, you so determined for your little plan to work out that you're going to try to figure out some kind of way to keep his plan from happening. God said his plan is going to come to pass. It don't matter what you think you got going on or how you feel, whatever. Regardless of what it is, you know what I'm saying? Regardless if it's a situation where you want to be with a specific person and you just got to be with them and you chasing them down and you knocking stuff over to be with them, God will make it to where this person has a disgust in their spirit towards you to such an extent that you will be like, what's going on? And you may see them a week later, a month later, and they got somebody that looked like they just crawled out of a dumpster. And you'll be like, really? But baby, God said, he, he, he not trying to hear that. You, your plan, that's going to fail. His plan is going to stand. And that's the end of it. It could be a situation, you know what I'm saying? It could even be a situation with a child. I'm like, I'm being reminded of when I found out I was pregnant with my son. I had a plan, y'all. I had a whole plan of what I was going to do with my life. And I can't say I was about to play around BS and just do whatever I felt like I wanted to do. I wanted to party in every city in the U.S. And I was so determined. I had my friends revved up. I was like, we about to be party girls. We going all over the country to all the hottest clubs. And we go... <laughs> Baby, when I say a week later, I took a pregnancy test and it said positive. I was like, plans go down the drain. No, God said it's a no and it's a hard no. <laughs> and even though, you know what I'm saying, when it comes down to it, my son is a blessing. You know, I love my baby. My baby, like, it's my little person. You know what I'm saying? So it ain't a situation where God's plan is just going to 
make you go into a depression or something like that. You know what I'm saying? I was very happy and filled with joy while simultaneously, you know, sad that I wasn't able to go and do what I wanted to, but I was happy about, you know, what God blessed me with. And, you know, it's, whoever this phone, baby, God said his plan is going to trump your plan. And his plan is what's going to stand. And you know what I'm saying? Even thinking about, you know, the pregnancy, like, I did not know I was pregnant. I, like... I found out I was pregnant a little bit after my birthday, um, my 23rd birthday. I was drinking all month. I was still, at that point, actively smoking cigarettes. I was acting a complete fool. That birthday, the whole month, I danced on the stage, on the chairs, on the tables. I Like, baby, the birthday party, you know what I'm saying? I'm going around pouring shots out the bottle into people's mouths and stuff. Baby then found out I was pregnant. I was like, mm, 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 mm. But baby, when God say he wants something to happen for you and he wants your life to go a certain way, it's going to go the way that he said, regardless of how you feel about it. You know what I'm saying? And nine out of 10, it's not, like I said, it's not going to be something bad. It's not going to be something traumatic. Anything God has for you is a blessing, regardless of what you got planned. You know what I'm saying? And you know, like I said, this is somebody, your plans, while they sound good to you, they look good to you, but God's plans is better and God said he may not tell you what his plans are because I had no idea in any shape form or fashion I had no idea but baby once it came to fruition and I knew what was going on I was like look at God mm. he will put his foot down okay and sometimes it's not like you know him punishing you it'll be him putting his foot down like nah you're gonna do what I want you to do you know what I'm saying and yeah and anytime you are walking in the light, you walking in a way that God has for you, there are blessings in store. You know what I'm saying? There are blessings that you wouldn't even expect. Things that, you know what I'm saying? Well, that's the message, y'all. I love my right. You know what I'm saying? And low-key, now that I think about it, I'm kind of glad that, you know what I'm saying, it went the way that it did because, baby, I ain't no telling what could have possibly happened with my little silly plans. I, I can't stunt. And you know what I'm saying? In reality, I have been to a lot of different places in the U.S. and partied and all that good stuff. You know what I'm saying? Yet and still. But and I, what I was talking about was absolute nonsense. Anyways, thank you. It was absolute nonsense. Not only that, I eventually found out that all the people, the people that I thought that was my friends and we was going to travel to the U.S. together and we going to do this, that, and the third, all them girls was uh, plotting on me behind my back. So, you know what I'm saying? While I'm saying, ain't no telling how that would have turned out. For real, for real. Ain't no telling how that would have turned out. Seeing how all these young women, they going on these trips with their so-called friends uh and they you know not coming back and it's just i'm just being real you know what i'm saying um when it come down to it when god has something in store for you god will prevent you from causing your own demise causing your own calamity causing your own destruction and sometimes we really be thinking that we got a bright idea and we really be thinking is this the best decision and we be thinking this is good and this that and the third baby like i said i found out all them girls was plotting on me behind my back all them girls was coming against me they they making this plan that plan and a third and i've had so many experiences experiences of them doing it but me not realizing it because you know the liquor and all the other stuff i had going on and that's one other thing that is so dangerous when you in that you know living that lifestyle the party girl lifestyle um you know what i'm saying and you when you are intoxicated you can't really interpret what's going on around you to the extent that you would be able to if you were sober and once i sobered up i was able to see things that i ain't even realized while i was intoxicated and i kept myself intoxicated to such an extent that I never had the opportunity to actually think about things that happened until God ain't give me no other choice. 
And that's for somebody, you know what I'm saying? The plan sound good to you right now. It look good to you right now. But in reality, you might end up being in a position to where you're going to have people plotting on you and you don't even see what they're doing. It, people plotting on you and they they try to do this, that, and the third. They think they're going to do this and they're they going to do that and they're going to do all these things. They got a whole little plan going on behind your back and you can't even see it. God said his plan is always better. That's the message. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Deuces.